I really think it's just in the last 14 years that professional schools have uh, started to address the question of what, what can we do about the ethical behavior of individuals. And, um, and, and if you look at the media, um, you, you first think of the bad guys, the Bernie Madoffs of the world, and, um, and how, do, how are we going to prevent them? And, and I'm not sure that we have any great answers to how to stop the next Bernie Madoff from coming into existence. Um, but I think that we know a lot more about the behavior of lots of other people in society who were around Bernie Madoff, who had access to the data that his returns weren't possible, who simply didn't notice. What I'm arguing is that there's lots of pretty good people who do bad things on a regular basis without knowing that they're doing anything wrong, who don't notice um, the misbehavior of others around them, who in fact exaggerate in ways um, to support members of their in-group, who show favoritism without knowing that they're doing it. Um, in, in my book, Blind Spots with Ann Tenbrunsel, what we do, instead of focusing on finding the few bad apples, we focus on how to help people become the ethical selves that we believe that they would be with more reflection. So rather than telling people what ethical standard they should hold, we try to bring up, bring people to the, to the ethical behavior that, they th that we believe they would endorse with greater reflection. And the idea of helping people understand the systematic and predictable ways in which their behavior falls short of their own morality, we think is a productive new direction in the field of ethics.